Prostate Cancer UK and football seemed a natural fit. Because prostate cancer affects one man in eight in the UK. One man per hour will die of prostate cancer in the UK. If you're black, one in four uh, will get prostate cancer. The figures are absolutely scary. And we look at it as a male dominated illness, of course, physically it is, but it affects families, it affects wives and daughters and sisters, you know. So um, we want to raise awareness of what prostate cancer is. A few years ago, it's virtually not been heard of at all, and how simple it can be to cure, you know, if you take the right steps. So, football, you know, here we are at Bramwell Lane full of supporters, mainly still male, you know. We want to make sure by raising awareness that the stands that are full now, in 10 years time, they're full of the same people. You know, they haven't fallen victim to prostate cancer. So we're just trying to raise awareness, you know. If you're over 50 or even younger in truth, if you've got a family history, you know, uh, of prostate cancer, if you feel you need to pee in the night consistently, but then maybe when you get there, you haven't got much of a, a flow, then just take some advice, you know, go to Prostate Cancer UK and talk to one of their councils or maybe talk to your GP, you're just to be on the safe side. We're men, we don't want to talk about anything that goes on below the waist. We don't want to go to the doctors and we certainly don't want anybody, you know, to take a look at what's happening down there. But just be aware, be safe, go and get some advice. That's all we're saying really. The Sheffield leg has been fantastic, much better than my legs are. Um, you know, we've got great welcomes here at Bramwell Lane and dare I say it, quietly at Hillsborough as well. We had a fantastic welcome there too. My feet are very sore at the moment. But you know, the big thing about this is, you know, our walks littered with uh, celebrities and the such like. Richie Humphreys has done some of the walk today and Dennis Priestley before that. But it's also um, being supported by people who've got prostate cancer now, lost their loved ones to prostate cancer, have friends who are battling the illness right now. And they tell me their stories, you know, and when I moan about my feet, somebody will come along and tell me that they lost their husband two years ago. And my feet don't seem to matter anymore, you know, because it's absolutely insignificant compared to what they've been through.